When it comes to screen recording and live streaming, choosing the right software can be overwhelming. Yes. You are right. Two popular options are Demo Creator and OBS Studio. Both have unique features, but they cater to slightly different needs. Wow, really? In this comparison, we'll break down the key differences and see which one might be the best fit for your recording and streaming requirements. When you first boot up Demo Creator, one of the first things you notice is its clean design. It's straightforward and doesn't overwhelm you with unnecessary options. As a first-time user, you'll probably appreciate the simple layout, where everything is clearly labeled and easy to navigate. In contrast, OBS Studio is a powerhouse of customization. While this can be great for advanced users, OBS can also be a bit intimidating for newcomers. There's a learning curve that might make it feel clunky for people who just want to record something quickly. You've got to manage different scenes, sources, Courses and settings, which can be overwhelming if you're not used to streaming setups. For ease of use, Demo Creator definitely takes the win here. It feels like a beginner-friendly version of OBS that doesn't sacrifice too much functionality for simplicity. It's less cluttered and more focused on providing an efficient, streamlined experience for users who just need to get the job done. When it comes to recording quality, both programs are capable of producing high-quality recordings, but there are some differences in how they handle them. Demo Creator shines with its easy-to-use recording modes, especially its built-in tools for adding annotations, call-outs, and other enhancements during your recording process. You don't have to stop the recording to add a text box or highlight something important on screen. Everything is smooth and integrated within the app. Plus, the software allows you to record from multiple sources, like webcam and screen, with just a click. However, OBS Studio has a clear edge when it comes to customization and flexibility in the recording settings. OBS offers more granular control over bitrate, resolution, and frame rate, which is essential for people who need precise control over their output quality. For example, if you're streaming or recording in 4K, OBS lets you tweak the settings to get the best possible recording. But to access all of this power, you'll need to dig into the settings menu, which isn't as intuitive as Demo Creator's simple, on-the-fly adjustments. When we move into streaming, OBS Studio is the undisputed winner. Its versatility for live streaming, paired with integration for various platforms like Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook, makes it the go-to choice for professionals and hobbyists alike. You can manage multiple scenes, add overlays, transitions, and sources, and really fine-tune your streaming experience to your liking. However, if you're just starting out with streaming, this level of complexity can be daunting. Demo Creator, on the other hand, has built-in streaming capabilities, but lacks the depth that OBS provides. It's it's fine for quick streams or for those who don't need the intricate customization that OBS offers, but for serious streamers, it might not meet all your needs. Demo Creator focuses more on easy-to-use screen recordings rather than comprehensive streaming options. If you're looking for simplicity in streaming, though, it can get the job done without a hassle. Demo Creator truly shines when it comes to editing. Unlike OBS, which is primarily focused on recording and streaming, Demo Creator comes with an integrated editor that allows you to quickly trim, cut, and even add annotations and effects to your recordings. This is great for content creators who want to quickly edit their recordings without needing a separate video editing program. With OBS Studio, you won't get any editing capabilities. Everything you record has to be edited externally. If you're recording a tutorial or any video that requires a quick turnaround, Demo Creator offers a huge advantage here with its post-production tools. In terms of performance, both software options run well on mid-range systems. However, OBS Studio can be a bit more demanding on your CPU and GPU, especially if you're pushing it to its limits with high-quality streaming or recording. OBS's customizability means that while you can make it work on a lower-end system, it might require a bit more tweaking to get optimal performance. On the other hand, Demo Creator tends to be a bit more lightweight, which can be a plus if you're recording or editing on a less powerful machine. It doesn't offer as much customization, but for many users, this translates into a smoother, less resource-intensive experience.
So after all this comparison, where do we stand? If you're someone who wants simplicity, ease of use, and fast editing features, Demo Creator is a fantastic choice. Its intuitive interface, built-in editing, and ease of streaming make it a solid option for those who don't want to dive deep into settings. The fact that it's so user-friendly means that you can focus more on content creation rather than learning the software. But if you need absolute control, whether it's for high-quality recordings, detailed streaming setups, or customization down to the finest detail, OBS Studio is the clear winner. Its flexibility and power make it the tool of choice for anyone who needs to fine-tune every aspect of their content creation. From streaming to recording, just be prepared to put in some time to learn the ropes. In the end, Demo Creator wins if you're looking for an easy-to-use, feature-packed tool for beginners or casual creators, while OBS Studio is the tool to go for if you're serious about streaming, recording, and customizing everything to your exact specifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.